this video, we're going to be analyzing a circuit with five lamps that are connected in series and parallel in a large combination circuit where we're going to find which bulb is the brightest and which one is the dimmest. Now, in order to do that, you have to do a few different steps to really break down what's going on. So we're going to break down all of the numbers, find some equivalent resistances, currents, voltage drops, and then we'll find out what's going on with the brightness of each of these lamps at the very end. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort of collapse some of these little parallel chunks down so we can find out the equivalent resistance and then find out a current to work with to work backwards and find some voltage drops. So our final goal is to figure out what's going on with the brightness and we're going to use the formula P equals IV. So if we know the current and the voltage drop for each one of them, that's going to be pretty easy to compare them once we have some numerical values. So taking a look at our first little parallel chunk, we have a 15 and 30 ohm resistor. So we're going to add up the inverses of those for a parallel circuit. So one over 15 plus one over 30 equals one over RT. And then if we do the um, lowest common denominator that would change this to 2 over 30 sum those up 3 over 30 equals 1 over RT and then you would cross multiply these numbers and then RT over 1 is going to equal 30 over 3 which is equal to 10 so that is our equivalent resistance for this entire chunk. So this is like one 10 ohm resistor. Now, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the next parallel chunk. Now that this whole entire chunk is represented by a 10 ohm resistor, this 10 and this 2 are going to work in a series together. So 10 and 2 together is obviously 12 with this 60 ohm branch at the bottom in blue. With that being said, we have that top branch, which is 12, so 1 over 12, plus the blue one on the bottom, 1 over 60, equals 1 over RT. So just like the previous one, lowest common denominator, um, we'll multiply this one by 5, changes it to 5 over 60, and then you sum those up, and that's going to be 6 over 60 that's going to get inverted which is 60 over six, which equals 10 again. So the 10 ohm number is our total resistance. Again, just kind of coincidentally, but obviously all of your numbers aren't gonna come out to 10. So that tells us that this entire chunk of resistors or lamps equals 10 ohms total. And then that falls into a series with this purple 10 ohm resistor. That means that our grand equivalent resistance or total resistance is going to be 20 ohms. Now, with that being said, we can go ahead and use Ohm's law, which is V over R equals I. Our total delta V is 120. Our total R is 20. So if we take 120 divided by 20, we have six amps as our total current. So what, what does that mean? That means that this 10 ohm resistor gets six amps of current. And then also, if you take um, Ohm's law and rearrange it a bit, then V equals I times R, if you cross multiply the R over to the other side. So this current times this resistance six times 10 is gonna give us 60. So the voltage drop for this one is 60 volts. So now going back to this big chunk of lamps and resistors and stuff like that over here, we knew that there's six amps running through here, and then we got that 60 volt voltage drop. And this entire chunk over here is represented by this 10 ohm resistor. So with that being said, um, if it's a 10, then this entire piece has six amps of current flowing through it, although it might split up a bit. And then also get 60 volts of voltage drop per branch. So the things that we know so far is that for this bottom one, it's acting alone. So it gets the full 60 volts and then 60 over 60 gives us the current, which gives us one amp of current through the bottom. 
So now what we can do is if we know this entire top branch over here acts like 12 total with the 10 and the two, then that means that it has the 60 volt drop divided by 12, which means it's getting five amps. And plus we know that the total was six amps over here. So um, if we knew the bottom was one, that means the entire top branch gets five amps, which means that this one gets the full five amps because it's not broken up. That one we'll get to in a second. Um, which means that if it gets five amps, if you take the current times resistance, then it has a voltage drop of 10 volts by doing two times five. Now, if it has a voltage drop of 10 volts, then that means this one is left with 50. So this one is going to get a 50 volt drop. And then this one is going to have a 50 volt drop. Um, with that being said, we can now find the current that is flowing through each of those branches by doing V over R. So 50 divided by 15 is 3.33 amps. And then 50 divided by 30 is going to be 1.67 amps. All right, now for each of those lamps, we have the original resistance, the 15 ohms, 30 ohms, 2 ohms, 60 ohms, and 10 ohms. And then we have the current in green next to it, and then the voltage drop in gold next to it. So if we're focusing on which is the brightest bulb, we, all, we just have to find the product of the I and the V. So let's take a look at our fifth. Well, let's go ahead and make a list of these. So we have a 15 ohm resistor. We have a 30 ohm resistor. We have a 2 ohm, 60, and then a 10. And then let's go ahead and find the power for each one of them. So for the 15 ohm resistor, um, it had a voltage drop of 50. This one, the 30 ohm had a 50 volt voltage drop. The 2 ohm had a 10 volt drop. The 60 had a 60 volt drop. And then the 10 ohm also had a 60 volt drop. So we can go ahead and hunt those down. They're all in gold. And then also add all of the currents that are next to them. So this one is 3.33. 1.67, 5, 1, and 6. Now, with that being said, we can go ahead and find the product of all of these. All right, so once we found the product of all of those different currents and voltages, we have our answer. It looks like our lamp over here at the end is the winner, 360 watts. This one is the brightest. And then our two ohm resistor that is in this branch over here is 50 watts of power. So that's going to be the dimmest one. So in order to solve a problem like this, you're basically going to have to break down a bunch of different parts. You're going to want to find the equivalent resistances of every little parallel chunk and then simplify that down until you can find a total resistance such as this one over here. And then that's going to help you find the current. Once we found the current of six amps, then we're able to work our way backwards um, and then find all of the individual currents and voltage drops that you see in green and gold on this diagram over here. By a, bunch, uh, by a bunch of simple division and multiplication um, calculations using Ohm's law. And then once we did that, we had all the numerical values we needed to plug in our I's and V's for the power and then rank them 
and see which one is the least and greatest. So I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and listening.